We have an update for you. The Washington Boulevard Bridge Project in Hailthorpe remains under construction due to the bridge being built below the required height limit. Open our roads, reopen our bridge. Like we want to be able to get in and out of our community easy. How can the bridge be too low? <laughs> How can the brand new bridge be too low? Question everybody is asking. Last month, state transportation officials admitted their engineers missed the mark. That height limit by just one inch. Today, Rebecca Pryor pressed them on just how long their mistake will take to fix and how much money that will cost taxpayers and drivers. When would you like to see this bridge open? Uh, yesterday. <laughs> the Washington Boulevard Bridge Project falling short of its expected completion date. It would be almost six years that they've been working on this bridge. One and a fourth inch short to be exact. Last month, the State Highway Administration admitting when the bridge was built, the weight of the pedestrian sidewalk was not taken into consideration. SHA says the hefty slab of concrete ended up lowering the bridge by about six inches, leaving it one and a fourth inch below CSX transportation height regulations. Put in place to allow trains to travel through safely. It's just mind blowing that that's what's you know, holding all this up. According to Will Cox, HOA president of the neighborhood just up the street, not only is the prolonged bridge closure inconvenient, it makes it getting in and out of the neighborhood um, much harder. It's also causing damage to a nearly 100 year old bridge along the detours path, now riddled with cracks and potholes, as well as dangerous traffic patterns. In the afternoons, trying to make a left onto Route 1 is scary and almost impossible. Crash report data from the Baltimore County Police Department revealing from 2018 to 2022, 262 accidents have been reported in the area around Hailthorpe Farm Road, plus 20 accidents so far this year. That's a safety hazard. Three weeks ago, they're coming this way and that way and that way. It's just dangerous. Frustrated Hailthorpe residents even protesting the bridge closure with signs that read MDOT, stop being evasive. And Governor Moore, where's your promised transparency? We just want accountability and we want to know how much this is costing now. This week, Fox 45 sending questions to SHA and MDOT asking what solutions are being considered? how much this mistake could cost taxpayers, and for an updated timeline for completion. The state claiming a solution is still being discussed and costs still being determined. We want to know what's the path going forward. Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.